So I'd like to uh, discuss a, a bit about the protection uh, that we use uh, when we're waterfall ice climbing. Uh, again, a little bit different than what we uh, typically would rack up uh, for a normal rock climb. Again, with ice, uh, we're protecting the medium itself. Now, uh, again, that's a whole clinic in and of itself, talking about how it's a changing medium, for instance. And uh, essentially, the quality of our placements of ice screws has everything to do with the consistency of the ice we're placing it in. So, again, without getting too deep into that discussion, I would, however, like to discuss some of the ice screws uh, that uh, we here at Gravel are very proud of. Uh, the first design is called the Helix. Now, uh, both the Helix and our sort of, uh, kind of widely known 360 design uh, feature our reverse thread, and I'll speak about that in just a moment. But uh, I typically will carry uh, multiples of the shortest length of Helix as well as the middle length of Helix. The longest length screws uh, have the same amount of threaded material. It's important to note that this is a longer screw, as you can see, but the length of the threads, regardless of the length of the shaft of the screw, uh, is going to be the, the same, consistent across all the three different lengths that we offer at Gravel. Now I carry, as I mentioned, the short and the medium length because I can't always uh, sort of rely on extremely thick ice living here in Utah. We're kind of high desert, so uh, if we get ice at all, it's typically quite thin. So rather than having ice screws that are too long and potentially will bottom out in the rock behind the waterfall itself, I typically rack more of the short and the middle, as I mentioned. But I carry two different styles. Uh, and again, Gravel manufactures two different hanger styles uh, that distinguish the Helix from our very popular and well-known 360 style. Uh, I carry a great many of both, but I really, really like the Helix, as you can see, because it's quite ergonomic. The, the hanger itself, it's quite easy to nest the heel of my hand uh, into this uh, ice screw. And when I'm placing a screw, remember that I've typically got one high tool. We'll just simulate that for just a moment. And with my free hand, uh, I'm placing this screw typically from the hip itself. And it's really, really wonderful to have a surface that's kind of ergonomic, fits the heel of my hand so that I can get this screw started quickly and with enough forcefulness. Again, that has everything to do with the design of our teeth. Uh, I can get a, a reliable piece of equipment into that ice uh, rather quickly and securely. Now, uh, as I mentioned before, our other extremely popular design is just a difference in the hanger shape here. And as you can see in the rotor design, uh, with the helix, the rotor is fixed, and as you can see, it's a long rotor arm, but it's not quite as long as what we have on our signature uh, 360 screw. The 360 screw has the advantage of having a much longer rotor arm, which enables you to really punch that screw in much, much faster than most other conventional screws. And the other thing that I really, really like about the 360 is that it has a very, very low profile hanger itself. Oftentimes when we're placing these screws, we're oftentimes looking for these areas of, of concave ice. Now when you have that type of uh, sort of shape, uh, oftentimes it's very, very easy to start screwing these in and then the hanger itself will sometimes bottom out on the surface of the ice. Now having a really low profile hanger, as you can see, oftentimes will uh, skip the step that is often required of really sinking a screw to the hilt if in fact the hanger is interacting with the surface of the ice. Sometimes you have to hack at it uh, with the ice tool just to kind of clear that radius. Whereas something with a really small hanger, oftentimes there's no need for that additional step of cleaning out that placement and really sinking that screw all the way uh, to the hanger itself, to the hilt if you will. Now the 360 screw also, uh, in addition to having that really long rotor arm, has an indexed feature here which will either keep this open or keep it closed. That's one of the big design sort of features that uh, updated this version of the 360 screw from the very first generation 360 screw. This kind of stays open and stays closed. Now the biggest thing that distinguishes our screws say from other brands would be the direction of the threads. Now at Gravel we orient our threads with what we call a reverse thread uh, and the thinking there is uh, in pullout, as you can see, if we look closely, the threads here in a reverse thread screw have the, the bevel sort of facing the hanger itself. Does that make sense? The actual flat surface of the thread is facing the teeth. 
Now, other brands, this would be opposite. The beveled side of the thread itself would be facing the teeth and the flat side towards the outside of the screw, towards the hanger. Now, our thinking in our reverse thread design is that in pullout, in ideal circumstances, that is to say in good ice, ice that is not aerated, ice that is really, really, really solid blue laminar ice, uh, when we're pulling out with the threads sort of facing the teeth and with the bevel facing outwards, we're affecting a larger mass of ice around the placement itself, rather than concentrating the outward force and the pull along the flat surface of those threads. It's a bit difficult to explain. We have a wonderful graphic uh, that takes care of it all, but it's just basically a difference in thinking. It's almost a, a push versus a pull type argument. But we at Gravel believe that the reverse thread enables us to affect more mass of ice around the placement itself and therefore make a safe, safer, uh, safer piece of protection uh, in the event that we should fall and, and call on it, so to say, to check a fall. But those are our ice screws, the 360 and the Helix, both re reverse threads, both uh, featuring some of the deepest teeth out there for a faster start. And 